Real quick, I want you to guess which movie this character description of Luke Skywalker is from. Luke Skywalker is living his life away from galactic events. Till one day a force user tells him that he needs to leave his current life behind and fight evil. He is resistant to do so till something happens that forces him to realize that he must step up and be a hero. His actions ultimately save the day. I imagine that most of you guessed A New Hope. Those of you who guessed The Last Jedi are actually correct. As of you who guessed A New Hope, you both are correct. Welcome to another episode of Star Wars Talk. I'm John Barry and in today's video I shall explain how the Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi is the same Luke that's in A New Hope. Well, to be more accurate, it's the same character arc. I'm surprised that no one has really touched on this as it's, well, fairly obvious. But I guess since many Star Wars fans were mad and upset that Luke wasn't treated like his legend dictated, it just slipped under the radar. Luke Skywalker's character arc in The Last Jedi is the same arc he had in A New Hope. The only difference is that in A New Hope, Luke was longing for adventure and excitement, and he was practically a nobody moisture farmer. While in The Last Jedi, he was older, he was grumpy, he did not want adventure and excitement. He just wanted to die alone. And, well, he had a much bigger legend to live up to, that he was expected to live up to. Interesting thing to note, that is true both in the Star Wars universe and in real life. In both films, while Luke's emotions, attitudes, and his cause of motivation to stay have changed, he still feels a sense of duty that he cannot get involved. In A New Hope, it was because he had a sense of duty to stay on the farm and help his uncle. In The Last Jedi novelization, we get a hint on how his life could have been if not for the call to action of his aunt and uncle getting murdered by stormtroopers. While we never saw it actually take place, we along with Luke saw the aftermath and well it was kind of horrific, the charred corpses of his aunt and uncle. And if the film was made today, and it, it would be given a PG-13 rating. Something to, well, think about. In The Last Jedi, Luke's motivation for feeling a sense of duty to stay out of galactic events is caused by how his moment of weakness when he contemplated killing his own nephew for the fear, and because of the fear, of the darkness within Ben Solo led directly to the creation of Kylo Ren and the destruction of Luke's new Jedi Temple, especially from Luke's perspective. I also want to add that this is the last time canonically that we know of when Luke held and used a lightsaber before The Last Jedi. Making a lightsaber the symbol of what probably was his biggest mistake he ever made according to himself. So why would he even want to ever have one again, ever hold one again? However, Luke's call to action in The Last Jedi is not as sudden as it was in A New Hope. I interpret Luke's call to action in The Last Jedi to be a series of events that began when he boarded the Millennium Falcon and ended with Yoda's Force Ghost using the Force to call upon a lightning strike to burn the tree library or is it library tree? Does it really matter what we call it? No, no it doesn't. At least not here. That Luke assumes the Jedi text are in but Rey had already took. With it being a series of events, that actually might make it a bit more realistic. But that could be 
the problem many fans had, that it wasn't obvious enough. I think many f of those fans were expecting the lightsaber to be the call to action when it clearly wasn't, for the previously mentioned reasons. I also expect some expected somehow Rey herself to be the call to action, which I think I genuinely kind of dismissed that Rey herself would be the call to action. But that's my interpretation after all. Nevertheless, it is clear that Luke has the same character arc in A New Hope and in The Last Jedi. This type of character arc even has a name for it. It is called The Hero's Journey. There are plenty of other videos on The Hero's Journey out there on YouTube, including some that are directly related to Star Wars. So I encourage you to go f out and find one and check it out. But mainly, I want you to have a new appreciation of how Luke was treated as a character in The Last Jedi. Was it the best treatment? Probably not actually def I'm pretty sure it wasn't the best. But it was definitely not bad and it did parallel very nicely to A New Hope. The biggest problem is that The Last Jedi seemed to have backtracked on Luke's character development in Return of the Jedi. But this could have been solved by the addition of one line. One single line. When Rey handed the lightsaber to Luke, he sh should still study the lightsaber for a moment before saying, I don't deserve this. And really emphasize the, I don't deserve this. Before either throwing it over his shoulder as he did in the film, or by handing it back to Rey. Throwing it over his shoulder would serve to emphasize his belief that he does not deserve the lightsaber. But handing it back to Rey would have also served to soften his character introduction in the film. Regardless, taking these steps would have helped to, well, improve on some of the legitimate faults in and an understandable complaints of The Last Jedi. That concludes this episode of Star Wars Talk. My questions for you today are, what was your opinion and your take on Luke in The Last Jedi? And what is your opinion on my take on Luke in The Last Jedi? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future Star Wars content. Also, ring the bell if you want to receive notifications of when my videos are released. Also, do consider checking me out on social media and supporting me on Patreon. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the Force be with you, always.